Help support the channel by shopping the Ultra Maximus Merchandise Store. You'll find great retro gaming parody shirts like Retro Gamer 1985, Gamer Retro, all styled like Sega, Nintendo, and so much more. Link down below. Brains! Brains! Hey, you should not look so good! Brains! Must eat brains! Er, nom 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 nom. No brains! Gonna starve! You kill a zombie every year. You suck! Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another 31 horror toys in 31 days. And today we're going to take a look at another reaction figure. And this is from The Return of the Living Dead. It's the Tarman Zombie. This is probably one of my favorite zombies in all of horror zombiedom. I just love the look of this guy. I thought he always looked cool since the 80s and I've seen a few figures of him out there. They can get kind of pricey and well this one's just got that retro fun. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Tar Man in the package. We got the logo and the artwork there. There he is in the box. This just looks super cool. It looks like it was one of the old movie posters. I just absolutely love the look. So 80s, so cool, so fun. It's got the reaction logo at the bottom. Now the back of the package, again, it's got kind of that 80s poster vibe where it would paste it up on the wall. Uh, very cool. Um, collect them all, Return of the Living Dead. More brains! They're back from the grave and they're ready to party. So it's got trash, Tarman, zombie trash, and uh, zombie suicide. And uh, I don't know if those figures are coming out, but I wouldn't mind having them. So that's pretty much it for the package. Let's get this guy out of box and see what we think. So here we have the Tarman zombie out of the packaging. And this guy is fantastic. I love the look. I love how he looks sloppy, wet. He looks drippy. He looks like an old 80s action figure. Whoop, he wants to fall over. Come on, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy looks really, really great, and it's so much fun, so gross, so disgusting, and I love him. But, uh, yeah, he comes with no accessories. Um, he's pretty much uh, articulation. Oh, I love the way this thing looks. It's so glossy, so gross, the feet. Uh, the head moves back and forth like that. Arms move up and down, just kind of up and down. Nothing at the wrist or anything, so very basic, very much like an old Star Wars figure. Legs kick that far forward, and then uh, they kick uh, about that far back, and that's that's it. That's all the articulation, much like an old 80s action figure, which I love. This thing just looks amazing, and, well, yeah, not much more to be said. Taking a closer look at the figure itself, sculpt on this is amazing. I love the skull. We can kind of see the tar coming off, the eyeballs, the mouth, all of the dripping tar everywhere, the spine in the back, the paint looks good. It just looks so wet and viscerally gross. And it's not a jet black, it's a really got kind of an oil slick. There's a little bit of brown into the black, which at first I didn't like, but I'm really, really digging because it looks like an oil slick. Uh, it just looks really great and really gross, and it, again, I can't say how amazing this figure just looks. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpt is so great. We got his hands kind of hanging out, the tar dripping down over the hands, the tar oozing down the body. Very cool, very nice. I mean, you could tell there's some clothes under there, but again, you can't see how much 
the uh, chest, the, the bones, the rib cage, all that looks great. All the drippings of goo, just really fun, really gross and gory. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, all the goo and the pants kind of ripped open. We see the skeletal bones of his knees and his legs looking good, his little skeleton feet coming out, and then the goo kind of oozing to the side, which actually helps him stand really well. It kind of reminds me of Swamp Thing as far as the sculpt goes, if he were a little more oily. But yeah, absolutely love it. For comparison, here we have the reaction figure Tarman next to a fellow horror reaction figure, Sven Gulli. And, well, these guys do look kind of fun side by side. And I have to wonder, has Sven Gulli ever shown the return of the living dead on his program? I don't know. Sven Gulli fans, if you're out there, leave a comment down below. I would love to know that. Uh, if so, it's fantastic to have these two figures together. And if not, it's finally cool to see these two characters share the screen finally here for Halloween. So is the Tar Man from the Return of the Living Dead reaction figure something that you want in your horror collection? I'm going to say yes. If you like Return of the Living Dead, I think this is a must-have. We don't get enough figures from that horror movie. If you're a reaction figure horror fan, this might be something you're after. Or if you just like zombies, this could be something that you're after. Now, this particular figure, I don't know why. Some of them strike me a certain kind of way. This one is... Uh, one of those figures where it just brings me back to my childhood days with my Star Wars figures. It's like one of those weird, gross, crazy alien toys. Uh, a little bit horrific, and I just absolutely love, and they nailed this figure and just knocked it out of the park. So there he is, Tar Man from The Return of the Living Dead for 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days. Hey guys. I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.